This is the story of the first Christmas, the night that Jesus Christ was born, when God became one of us. By retelling the story each year, remember the hope and promise that a newborn baby brought to a broken world on that remarkable night in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. Long before the night, God told his people, the prophet of Isaiah, about the Savior who is coming. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And through the prophet Micah, God told us where this child was to be born. But you, O Bethlehem, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me who one is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore you shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. He shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord. In the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be one of peace. And when the time came for the child to be born, God sent the news of his coming to ordinary people in extraordinary ways. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God My name is Elizabeth. 2,000 years ago, my husband Zachariah was a priest of the God of Israel, as his father was and his father before him. We tried to live faithfully and follow the commandments. Our only regret in our old age was that we had not been blessed with children. One day, Zachariah came home from serving in the temple and couldn't speak, not a word. He made me understand that he had seen a vision, an angel with a message from God. I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. That day, I was sent to tell the old priest that his prayer had been heard, that his wife would bear a son, and that they would name him John. The child was to be great in the sight of the Lord, a prophet of the Most High, who would turn many of the people of Israel back to the Lord their God. But Zechariah didn't believe the angel at first. Because he did not believe my words, he could not speak until they were And so, for nine long months, my husband couldn't say a word. That gave him plenty of time to think about what the angel had said. Greetings, favored one. Do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Gabriel. I am here because you have found favor with God. You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the Son of God, the Son of the Most High, and he will reign forever and ever. How can that be possible? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Your child will be holy and will be called the Son of God, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then Mary came to see me. She must have known I would understand. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is she who believed when the Lord spoke to her. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has a favor on the humility of his servant. Mary stayed with me until it was almost time for my baby to be born. Then she went back to face Joseph. My own baby was delivered, and we named him John, as the angel had told me, and Zachariah's voice was restored. I can't believe it. I don't know what to do. I can't marry her now. Joseph, do not be afraid to wed Mary, 
Her child comes from the Holy Spirit. She will have a son, and you must name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did as God's angel had told him. He took Mary to be his wife, and resolved to raise the child as his own. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered, all went to their own towns to be registered. And so Joseph also went with Mary from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. right there in my stable. They wrapped him in bands of cloth, and since there was no crib, they laid him in a cow's feeding trap. A manger. In that region, we shepherds were living in the fields, keeping watch over our flocks by night. Then, the angel of the Lord appeared before us, and the glory of the Lord shone around us. We were terrified. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news for all To you is born this day a Savior, who is the Messiah. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains. In a land far to the east, Magi, who studied the night sky, saw a wonderful sight. A beautiful bright star was rising. Knowing it to be the star of the king of the Jews, they packed gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and set out traveling west to pay him homage, to honor God among us. They followed the star to Bethlehem until it stopped over the place where the child was. 
those who gathered to greet the newborn Jesus made known what had been told to them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed. But Mary treasured all those words and pondered them in her heart. Frankincense to offer have I, incense on the deity nigh, prayer and praising, gladly raising, worship him God most high. O star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, west what leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!